Hi, and welcome to the Bubble Screencast. For those of you who don't know, Bubble is a plain text markup type language for writing comic books. The idea behind Bubble is that you can use any text editor, any word processor, any tool really that's capable of outputting in plain text to write comic book scripts and then convert that plain text into an industry standard comic book script that you can show to any editor, any artist, inker, writer on the planet and they can understand your comic book assuming you've written it in a legible way. So I'm going to start with just with an example of what a finished bubble script would look like. This is the script for the Storyteller's Curse which is a, a five page story I wrote for an anthology here in the UK and as you can see it's all pretty much plain text, human readable straight away. On the right hand side here you can see I've uh, actually got a little ready reckoner to remind me of the, of the syntax. So each hash mark that you see, a single hash mark, is the start of a new page. Double hash mark is the start of a new panel. And here a single tab or a single space is what you put before dialogue, sorry, the, um, the character name, and double tab or double space before dialogue. The reason for supporting both tab and space um, is personally I think tabs look nicer, um, they're neater and a little bit easier to read, um, but they're not necessarily the easiest thing to use on, on every device. So some Mac users asked for, for space and so did some users who wanted to work on a, on a mobile or a tablet. So here's my script. Uh, I can make any changes in there I want to, save it, do, do what I please with it. And if I just copy that text, and come across into the Bubble app. This is the desktop version, sorry, this is the web version of the Bubble app. Um, there is a desktop version at the moment for Windows and I'm looking at developing for Mac and Linux as well, but this is the, the web version, completely free to use. So I'm just gonna drop the text of the Storyteller's Curse in there, press my convert button and this is the output. As you can see, it's absolutely standard comic book style script but here's the interesting stuff it's counted up our pages it's done all our page numbering for us there's page one there's page two there's page three so on and so forth if you probably can all count so I'm going to stop there it counts up the panels one two three everything's numbered um, a few users asked for numbering of the uh, speech bubbles or, or, or dialogue bubbles as well so the system does that um, and it counts them sequentially over panels so one two three four they're splitting across panel one and panel two character names are all in bold and everything's indented you know, re really nicely and it, it's clear I think and, and very easy to read so this is a HTML page so I've got a few options now for getting this out I can just control a copy that and I can drop that into any word processor it, it's gonna eat it up absolutely no problems Obviously, I can also take the option of, of printing it, so I can throw out my print dialogue. I can print it out. I can actually print it here to a to a PDF, or I can just save that page. You know, I can I can save it as a HTML file. the The point is that you you don't have to save the, the output in this format as you see it here. This document over here is the original content, and so that's what I would I would keep hold of because I know I can convert it at any point back into this this script format so let's take a look at, at starting a brand new a brand new script with bubble uh, the way that I always like to start is I, I like to block out um, the script so if I'm working over five pages the very first thing I'll do is give myself five pages to work across and that's the simplest bubble script in, in the world there take that drop it back into the converter and convert it I've got my five pages there straight away. Now you see it's highlighted that these are splash pages. This was something from uh, a, a user who'd been really instrumental actually in, in helping with the software, which is Pete Rogers, the UK comic writer, gave me loads and loads of feedback um, on the software. And one of the things that he pointed out was that it, it wasn't easy to do splash pages. He's actually found a way of doing it, which was cool. Um, but we, or I then added in um, a way of doing splash pages to go with that. So once I've blocked out the pages like that, 
I can start to to work and I can start to decide what's going to happen. So it's uh, the first one: superhero flying over the city, spots a villain. Look out! Superhero fights villain. Villain reveals he is superhero from the future. is a dystopian nightmare superhero and supervillain who is not a villain go with each other to the future so not the uh, most original script in the world um, but I'll take that across now convert that again you can see I've got my my descriptions and stuff starting to come through and starting to make sense already as a comic book script so once I've blocked out like that I can then start to put together my, my script so I might decide here to create a new panel so superhero flying over the city and the next panel Superhero spots a plume of smoke in the distance. Superhero flies towards smoke. Superhero spots super villain. So again, that's really neat. It, it's really easy to see you know, what you're doing. Straight away, I can get back now and start creating my dialogue. Now, you don't have to um, upcase your character names. You'll notice there's a little tick box down here for, for converting. I personally prefer writing in, in, in title case, in, in normal case. Um, some people do you know, insist on seeing scripts in, in uppercase. I think that's maybe to help letterers because then they can copy and paste straight across. Um, in, into Adobe so again that's that's a personal choice but for me I'm, I'm gonna write it in, in title case so here's a hero and he's saying hmm looks like a quiet day in the city really simple just copy paste convert and there we go straight away we've got a panel numbering we've got our hero got our bubbles individually numbered there and we're getting out we're getting our descriptions you don't have to um, restrict descriptions to a single line I can actually do quite long descriptions in here um, this is something that I found that Keltex didn't do very well um, was deal with paragraphs of, of description um, and for those of you who really like to uh, embellish your scripts with, with lots and lots of info for the artist this is something that bubble can help you do and the city is a year now western city no flying cars or anything like that um, exclamation mark is, is interesting we just nip back here and, and have a look at the comments one of the things that you can do is add a, a commentary to the script and that commentary can be for you as the writer in which case it's not included in the script or it can be um, notations for the artist that are that are important um, and that you want to put in you can obviously also use this to get artists to collaborate with you if, if they use bubble as well you can give them a bubble script you can literally give them the text file and have them have them annotate, have them put information in. So here I'm going to put in a little note. And please make this look different to Metropolis. <coughs> right. And now when I convert that, what you'll see is we get a little a little highlighted 
note there. So something that, that's important. You wouldn't see that um, in a finished script, I would suggest. That is really something that's there for, for when we're collaborating with, with, uh, you know, with, with other creators, particularly for rights collaborating with artists. These are you know, the, the notes. Um, and again, these can be used by the artist to send you back queries. Equally, you can put in hidden notes. If you start a line with a full stop, I can leave a note to myself here saying something like, uh, really need to provide a better description here. Awesome reference. So that is there. It's clearly visible to me in the, in the bubble version of the script. But if I convert it over here, what you'll find is it's not there. It, it's totally invisible. So this is really for your own um, writer's notes, your, your own little bits and pieces that you might be thinking about. And you can use these absolutely anywhere. So I can drop in here, so this guy needs a name. And again, if I bring that across, it doesn't cause any problems for Bubble whatsoever to see a comment right in the middle of things like that. It still works absolutely fine. So it's a really, really flexible um, format in that respect. It's there to help you not to get in the way and to, to let you write as quickly as you possibly can. So I'm just going to tidy those up now, take those out of my script so I can carry on. So let's see, he's heading towards the smoke and he says something like... And this is a point where you might want to use um, what a letterer, I have been reliably informed, will refer to as a stressor. So that's to put the text in bold, um, italic underline in some way to, to do it. I've taken some tips here from Markdown, for those of you who, who know that. If you surround some text with two asterisks like that, you're going to get it in italics. If you put it double asterisks like that you're going to get that in bold so let's just show you how that looks in the finished script okay so there's our great Scott this has been italicized his first national bank in bold um, quite a common way to do stresses is as underlining so it's another one line there. Now it seems pretty repetitive to keep jumping back like this into the into the bubble converter. This isn't how you'd normally work with the system, you know, day to day. I don't tend to convert until the, the, the very last point really. I'll sit and work happily in the text editor for as long as the script takes. Um, convert maybe once or twice during the process just to, you know, make sure everything's everything's looking right. I've not sort of done any funny little panel counts or anything. But generally, you, you wouldn't jump back and forth like this. Um, and that's really it. I, I crack on now, and I create some more panels down here. Again, you can, you can block it out. So if you know you want three panels here so that you, you've really got some space, um, you know, the, the artist can really go to town, you can. Um, if you know how many, uh, you know, if you know a particular piece of dialogue that you want to have towards the end, you can you know, block out panels. And then you know, put something in earlier on. Again, this is something I just found incredibly difficult to do in Caltex um, and a lot of other editors was, was move ahead of myself um, and sort of use it for, for outlining and that sort of thing. So if I just throw some dialogue in here, uh, you idiot. You can see I've gone straight into using my, my stresses there as I'm used to. So just do one more conversion of that. So you can see now, I can see even where I've got my blank panels. So, you know, writing this thing, I can actually take a look at this now and say, oh, okay, yeah, I can see I've got some problems. Um, something one person told me that they like to do is actually print this out um, with some space, make, um, you know, make some blank lines in there for themselves or, you know, leave, leave notes on lines so that they can see what's going on and then go and, you know, fill it in, pad and pen, sitting quietly somewhere, uh, probably somewhere they shouldn't be writing because they haven't got their laptop or the tablet with them and you know then come back and, and make the annotations so 
that's, um, that's Bubble in a nutshell. Files are plain text, um, save them however you choose. I'm using gedit here on, on Ubuntu. You can use absolutely te any text editor, um, absolutely any tool that you, you like. Um, I know some people have been using Evernote. Um, other people are keeping them as, in, as plain text files in Dropbox. But you can do this in Word. You can do it in, um, in LibreOffice. Anything that will, will let you produce a, a text file. Um, somebody even told me they were doing it in a, in a spreadsheet in Excel. Um, I, I'm not sure why you would do that, but they, they were, and then they were copying and pasting across. Uh, you know, really any tool can, can be used to do this, and I think that's the, the most exciting thing about, about Bubble is that it's completely free, completely open, um, cross-platform way of producing comics that doesn't require you to have anything other than a, a great idea and uh, enough time to, to write that. So thanks very much for listening to the screencast. Um, come and leave some comments on the website. That's www.planetofpenguins.com forward slash bubble. Um, and have fun.